Meghan Markle has reportedly said she will never let her father, Thomas Markle, see his grandson, Archie Harrison, and according to a newly resurfaced report, the decision might have been taken on the advice of Her Majesty the Queen. Sources close to the Duchess of Sussex have recently claimed she has no plans to speak to her father Thomas Markle again after his most recent interview. The former actress also has no intention of letting Thomas ever see his little grandson, Archie Harrison, who will exactly be four months old in a couple of days. One source told The Sun, it's a terribly sad situation but Meghan has made the very difficult decision that she doesn't have an active relationship with her father anymore. This was actually a decision she made some time ago and it is something she's now coming to terms with. It's obviously heartbreaking for her but she has to protect herself, her husband and her son. Thomas hasn't met Harry and it's unlikely he'll meet Archie either. Meghan's father, a former Hollywood lighting director, stirred up more trouble at the weekend by having a dig at Meghan and Harry's recent trips on private jets. He said, I've still never met my son-in-law. Why couldn't Prince Harry have got on a plane and flown to see me to ask for her hand? He obviously has no problem getting on private jets. Thomas, who has two other children, also claimed he would love to know if his royal grandson has the famous Markle nose. He told the Mail on Sunday, I would like them to send me a picture of Archie so I can frame it and put it on my wall beside the one of Meghan. Of course I am disappointed not to see Archie. I had hoped becoming a mother would mellow Meghan and she would reach out. According to a newly resurfaced report, Meghan's decision of completely cutting ties with her father might have been taken due to pressures from the Queen. In 2018, the Daily Mirror reported that royal aides in Buckingham Palace were plotting to silence Thomas Markle and that advisers had held at least three top-level crisis meetings on the subject. A source close to Buckingham Palace told the Mirror. Meghan is deeply hurt by what is happening and everything is being done behind the scenes to make sure her welfare is at the top of the agenda. It's an increasingly desperate situation and now it's come down to three options being on the table. Fiercely, Meghan could contact her father straight away and appeal to him directly to ask him to stop hurting her, but right now she's decided to cut him off. There is a possibility an intermediary could meet with him and appeal to him to stop making such hurtful statements. The final option would be for Meghan to cut him off completely in the hope he will stop, but the situation is so precarious no one knows when that would be. Phil Dampier, who has been writing about the royal family for 26 years also commented on the situation and claimed that it was getting out of control. He added, if this carries on I wouldn't be surprised if the Queen herself gets involved and bangs a few heads together. In the wake of her estranged father's explosive rants to the media, Meghan reportedly leaned on her sister-in-law Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. A royal source said, Kate's well aware of what Meghan is going through. Her family has been dragged through the tabloids and she knows it's not nice. She's made a big effort to be kind to Meghan and look out for her. Meghan has had to deal with a number of family dramas since her relationship with Prince Harry. Samantha Markle, Meghan's half-sister, has also reportedly not spoken to the Duchess in years and continues to lambaste her half-sister in TV interviews and online. She recently branded the royal family a disgrace for the family and warned she would hold Meghan responsible if their father dies. Thomas Markle branded the Meghan and Prince Harry hypocritical for their private jet lifestyle in his latest interview. Meghan Markle has cut off her father for good after he accused her of hypocrisy in his latest interview, it is claimed. Thomas Markle took his daughter and Prince Harry to task for taking four private jets in little over a week while also campaigning over climate change. The estranged father also begged for a picture of his grandson, Archie and questioned whether the Todd had the famous Markle nose. A source close to Meghan and Prince Harry reportedly said it is unlikely Mr. Markle, 75, will get to see his grandson. This was actually a decision she made some time ago and it is something she's now coming to terms with. It's obviously heartbreaking for her but she has to protect herself, her husband and her son. 
Mr. Markle said the only photos he has seen of the three-month-old boy are those posted on the internet for the world to see. Speaking out for the first time since the birth of his grandson, he also criticized the climate change activists for using private jets and accused them of being hypocrites. Isn't that what any grandfather would want? I'd love to know if he's got the famous Markle nose. The former Hollywood lighting director claims he sent a card to Meghan via her financial advisor in Los Angeles, where she was born and raised, but he didn't get a response and doesn't know if it was delivered to her. He said he loves the Duchess of Sussex, 38, and recalled the moments he used to carry her around when she was a baby. He and Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, now 62, split when she was six years old and got a divorce. Mr. Markle said he is tired of waiting for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to forgive him and he is sick of the lies and being shut out of their lives. A spokesperson for Meghan and Harry declined to comment. Mr. Markle has faced criticism for doing repeated interviews about his row with his daughter and Harry, who welcomed baby Archie in May. Days before Meghan and Harry's wedding in May 2018, he was paid for staged paparazzi photos. Mr. Markle didn't attend the May 19th wedding at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. He was invited, but claimed he was unable to fly to the UK because he had suffered a heart attack and was in poor health. In other royal news, Meghan and Harry have hired an all-female squad of aides in what is thought to be a royal first. 